there's a good chance you don't know how to use Google properly, and I want to change that. So I'm going to show you 10 ways of using Google that you might not know. These methods will put you in the top 1% of Google users worldwide. But first I'm going to need a computer. Most people, and this is how I used to do it, just go to Google, type the query in the search bar. It does work, but there are much better ways of doing it. These methods are at their most powerful when they're combined. So let's say you wanted to learn Python and you were looking for a free PDF from Cambridge University. The search might look something like this. And very quickly you found a 400 page PDF from Cambridge University. Let's pick that apart. The site operator limits the search to a particular site. So if we were looking for a Cambridge University site, we could do this. But we can also search all universities in the UK by typing .ac.uk as our site search. The file type search operator is really useful too. Uh, you can limit your search to a particular file type. So if you're looking for a PDF, you can just put PDF in there. Or if you're looking for some data, you can put .csv. Any file type that you're looking for, you can just put in there and restrict the results to that particular file type. You can remove results using the minus sign, so there might be certain phrases or words that you don't want coming up. As a beginner, I don't want any advanced Python material, so I can remove that from our search results doing this. If you want a particular phrase to show up in the results, then you have to put it within double quotation marks. So if I wanted to amend the search that we're doing to include introduction to Python, if I put that phrase in double quotation marks, then it will only return results that have that exact phrase. So we're definitely getting closer to what I'm looking for, but maybe I want the introduction to Python to be in the title of the page. Well, I can do that by using the search operator in title. I've noticed that some of the results coming up are a bit old. I want something more recent, so if I type after and then a date, I can ensure that all the results that come up are after a particular date. It also works with before. If I wanted to search for more than one item, so perhaps I want to search for Python and JavaScript, which are both programming languages, I can use the OR operator. You have to use it with capitals. Now that's obviously going to return a lot of results, so let's restrict that to a site. I know that Free Code Camp is a good site for learning Python and JavaScript, so I'm going to look across that site to see what results come up for Python or JavaScript. You can also use currency symbols. It only really works for dollars and euros uh, if you're looking for a product at a certain price. So for example, if I want to find a, a laptop for $500, I can type that in and it will recognize $500 and only show results for laptops in that price range. You can also search for particular news sources. So if I wanted to see what's been written about Elon Musk, for example, on The Guardian, which is a, a UK-based newspaper, I can do that using source. Now, I notice that in the results, it brings up a lot of information about the recent Twitter takeover. But perhaps I want to know about Elon Musk from before that. I can add a date search operator. The final method relates to images. There are a lot of options with images. So I have this mystery image, and the question is, can I identify where it is? So I just take the image, and I upload it to the Google image search, and these are the results I get. And we see that it's a path called the Caminito del Rey in Spain. It's uh, north of Malaga, and it is a terrifyingly treacherous path that some people like to walk. And some bonus methods. You can use weather to get the weather at a particular location, map to get the map of a location, uh, you can use stocks to get a stock price, and this one related, that's really good, so it'll bring up related sites. Now there's a book, of course there's a book, it's called The Joy of Search by Daniel Russell, who's a research scientist at Google, so he's a real expert in Google search, so if you want to dive deeper you can get that book, and you can use the book operator to search for books, or you can take a look at his blog, which is really good too, and there's a link to that in the description.